right, coming up next is highly anticipated matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. One of the best fighters on this UFC roster, top to bottom, to have never realized a piece of UFC gold. Former Ultimate Fighter winner, Kelvin Gastelum, and some of you like to say embrace the grind. He has absolutely embraced it. He's embraced the sprints. Seems to have this champion's mentality, and he'll try to parlay that into another big win here tonight. And he's gonna need that mentality in order to build himself back to where he wants to be. But couple that mentality with the skill that Kelvin Gastelum possesses. He's a fantastic boxer. For a short guy, he does a really good job with his kicks. He's just a full-on mixed martial artist, a young man that has developed that fighting style from the very start. Truly, truly phenomenal fighter, a great ambassador for the sport. Kelvin Gaston has it all. And maybe his best skill is something you can't quantify, his heart. He's got so much heart. He's got so much heart. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run roughshod through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge to date. the day for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, some differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 23 wins, 13 losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Yuma, Arizona, USA, presenting the challenger, Kelvin Gastelum. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 180 pounds. Fighting out of Knoxville, Tennessee, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight Champion of the world, Parker. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. All right, so here we go with round one of this UFC middleweight championship fight. The consensus number one and number two, 185 pounders on the roster. The middleweight champion has defended the title several times, now looking to do just that here tonight. His last defense, he got off to an outstanding start. That is something his opponent will be looking to prevent here tonight. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Gastelum. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, 
that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, that was a big takedown. This is the one that's going to break it. Gastelum's pass is denied. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Back to the feet now. Try to establish that jab. A little single collar tie there. Huge knee lands from the post. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed. Look at him attacking that guillotine. Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got to recognize this is dangerous. This is a dangerous position. And there it is! He's done, he's done! Oh my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, great job executing the submission in that fight. Really strong work. You can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. All right, so there's the man they're all chasing at 185 pounds, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, and the celebration is on after the big submission win here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Margliano has called a stop to this contest at four minutes of the very first round. He's going to win it by tap out, due to a guillotine choke, and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of so there he is, still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after a win by way of submission here tonight. And despite the fact that the number one contender came in and was all the rage, he got the job done relatively easily here tonight, submitting his foe inside the distance in defense of his middleweight title. Only one thing left to do tonight, that is to party. The celebration is on in the red corner with the undisputed UFC middleweight champion.